Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download the MicroPython firmware in our Raspberry Pi Pico device. I have just received my Raspberry Pi Pico W and I'm excited to start developing MicroPython Internet of Things project with it. So let's just try to inspect. As you can see, it says that it is Raspberry Pi Pico W. So before we can start developing MicroPython Internet of Things project with it, then let's first download the MicroPython firmware on this device. I will first be showing you using the easiest way by just copying the firmware to the memory of our Raspberry Pi Pico using the UF2 bootloader or the USB flashing format. To do that, let's go to this site and let's download the latest UF2 file firmware and save it into our directory. I have done the download already, so let us just proceed. Next, we need to set our Raspberry Pi Pico in bootloader mode. To do that, what we can do is just click this button in here called the boot cell button. So I'm going to click the boot cell button in here. And then we're going to attach the USB cord now into the USB panel. Now, as you can see, the RPI RP2 has been detected. We can now remove our finger from clicking the boot cell button. And now we have here the RPI RP2 mass storage. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to copy the Raspberry Pi POW firmware into that rpi-rp2 mass storage so let's let's do that one then i'm going to copy it here then let's wait for the copy to be to, to finish okay as you can see the folder automatic automatically closes and let's just wait for a couple of seconds then we will just need to power cycle our Raspberry Pi Pico W device. Let's do a power cycle of our Raspberry Pi Pico device. Okay. And then let's plug the USB cable again. And now we're going to test the, our installation of our MicroPython firmware. So in order to do that, we can use Putty. Or the other one is we can use Tony IDE. So now that we have installed our MicroPython firmware, so let's try to test it out. To do that, let's create a program that will blink the onboard LED of our Raspberry Pi Pico W. To do that, let's create a new file in here called blink.py. And then I'm just going to paste some code in here. So what this will do is that it will just blink the onboard LED and then it will toggle and then sleep for some time and then just continually loop. So let's try running this one. As you can see, the onboard LED is now blinking. So it means that the MicroPython firmware that we have installed is successful. Another option to installing the MicroPython firmware in our Raspberry Pi Pico W device is by using the Tony IDE. So it's the same procedure. So we'll just set our button in bootloader mode by clicking the boot cell button in here. And then let's plug in the USB. Once the RPI RP2 is detected, what we will do is that we go into our Tony IDE in here and then click this, bot this button in here, the lower right hand, click Configure Interpreter, and then select the Raspberry Pi Pico setup here, 
And then let's just try to detect the port automatically. And then click the install or update the MicroPython. And see the volume was selected. So the variant that we're gonna be choosing is the Raspberry Pi Pico W, w and w, this one WH. And then it, let's say it says that we're going to install this version. So let's click the install. And as you can see, the installation process already started. Let's just wait for it to finish. Now that it's done, let's go close the window here. And then let's click OK. And then let's try to connect. So as you can see, the Raspberry Pi Pico was automatically connected. So what we can do to test this out is let's try running the Blink program again. So I have here my Blink program and then let's try running it here. As you can see, the onboard LED in my Raspberry Pi Pico W is now blinking every 500 milliseconds. So as I have shown you, there's two options that you can choose in installing the MicroPython firmware in your Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W. So whatever you may choose, uh, they're still okay as long as you are able to test the output of your installation. And that's it. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!